Hey guys, George at Soundtracks here, and this week we're going to talk about one of our other Model Railroaders Reader's Choice Award winners, the Sound Car. So let's get started. Now our Sound Car decoder is a decoder that goes into your rolling stock and reproduces the sounds of the rest of the train. In this case, you're going to hear clickety clack, you're going to hear flange squeal, you can even hear the brake squeal happen in conjunction with the sound of your locomotive. Now for more information, we have done some prior videos, so please be sure to check those out in our YouTube channel. But today we're going to talk specifically about a refrigerator car. And we're going to talk about what it takes to set up a Tsunami 2 for this refrigerator car. Now first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at CV112. And CV112 will adjust a few things that you're going to look at for every freight car. The number of axles on a truck and the number of trucks per car. But also in CV112, we can determine whether the F9 generator, or in this case, the diesel refrigeration unit, will be on all the time or can be triggered by a function. Now on this particular refrigerator car here on my layout, I actually use F9 to trigger the refrigeration unit on and off. So when I press the F9 key, Now you're gonna hear that diesel generator start up as it works to refrigerate the car. And when I turn F9 off, the compressor will run its course and then it will shut off. Now this of course allows you to model a loaded car versus an empty car. So let's say for example, we pull our refrigerator car up to the plant and we're gonna load it up. We're gonna fill it up with fruit. We're gonna fill it up with meat, whatever the case is. Now we can actually have somebody go and turn on the F9 on all of the sound car refrigerator units because then that way they're loaded cars. Now, the next thing we can do is set in CV117. And CV117 determines a few of the other operating parameters such as, do we have the clickety clack? Do we have the flange squeal? Do we have the coupler sound? I'll remember on the sound car, there's also a horn and bell, so we want to determine whether we enable that as well. And this is all determined in CV117. So in this case, we've determined we want to set up the generator or the diesel refrigeration unit. We're going to set up the coupler sound. We're going to set up the clickety clack, the wheel noise, the flange squeal, and the brake sound. So we've set CV117 to a value of 246. Next up is volume control. Now you can adjust the volume of that diesel engine sound up or down depending on your preference choice. Now we have it defaulted as a relatively low value. So in CV132, you're gonna see this at a value of 25 for the default. Now remember, volume control has a value between zero and 255. So you have quite a range there. And as you can imagine, 25 is fairly low. So you can adjust this for your personal tastes. Now, part of the reason we did it low was because with all of these sound cars playing on a layout, you can imagine the amount of noise that would be generated. So we wanted to subdue those noises quite a bit so that that way you can hear it local to the refrigerator car, but not halfway across the room. Now, the last thing that we can do is set in CV202, and this determines the probability of how frequently you're gonna hear that diesel generator or the refrigeration unit cycle. Now, in a refrigerator car, of course, it's there to keep the meat cold or the fruit cold. So as it's running, it has an internal temperature watching to make sure that it maintains that. Well, if you're modeling Alaska in the winter, you can imagine a refrigerator car probably doesn't need to cycle all that frequently. But if you're modeling Arizona in the summer, that refrigerator car is gonna be cycling on and off quite a bit. So you can take CV202 and adjust the probability. Higher values equal higher probability, so you're going to hear the sound more frequently. Now the default value for CV202 is a value of 192, which means about three quarters of frequency. Uh, remember you have 0 to 255, so if you want to hear it somewhat moderately or maybe a little less, reduce that value in CV202. Now one other thing it may be good to do, uh, being a model of a refrigerator car, of course there's no livestock, so we're not going to hear any cows or sheep. Now, by default, you have to enable function four to hear those sounds. But if you don't want to hear those sounds accidentally, you can go simply take CV38 and set it to a value of zero. And that way you won't hear the livestock coming out of your refrigerator car. 
Well, guys, that's all for right now. There's a lot of different profiles that you can set up with the sound car, so I'm interested to see what you guys come up with. If you have any preferred preferences that you'd like to see, give us a shout. So send us an email at sales at soundtracks.com and we'll try to do a video to highlight your sound car decoder installation to get the most out of it.